Kenzie, you found anything out about the Deckers? I know a lot about the Deckers. Well, I know that, but I mean anything we can use. Tons. You shouldn't worry about that now. Okay, then what should I... Is Shondi with you? No. Why do you want to know? What's going on? I'll call her then. Meet me at Smiling Jack's Diner. There's something you need to see. You need to see this. Fortunately, this exclusive footage has come to light. And with us live, the man responsible, Eddie Kilbane Pryor. Thanks for being here, Eddie. My pleasure, Jane. And please, call me Kilbane. Very well. Kilbane, there are some who claim you're a criminal. No, no. Jane, my dear, please. The saints are criminals. Call me eccentric, but I'm just an entertainer slash businessman slash philanthropist slash... We get it. Where are they? No idea. They're broadcasting from an undisclosed location. Well, fucking disclose it! I might be able to triangulate where they're shooting if you go to the broadcast towers and... We're on it. That asshole's gonna trash the saints on air. He already is. I'm sitting with a man the wrestling community has called the Walking Apocalypse. Is such a moniker intended to frighten your fans as well as your foes? Not at all. It's an inspiration to all my fans to rise above the meager existence of a mere... Fuck him. This guy's got a bigger ego than me. Don't share that opinion. Some may call that preying on the weak. It's the ones who see each person as nothing more than a paycheck who truly... We're here, Kinsey. What next? I sent you coordinates to several radio towers. Head to the first one and let me know when you've landed. Before the break, you mentioned the kids you've helped. Ah, yes. Kilbane's Crunch Camp. <laughs> it's a two-month summer program that gets kids off the streets and into the ring. There's been some concern from parent groups. Well, that's because parents are p Maybe they should focus on a real threat, like the Third Street Saints. Strong words. Kids fall down and get hit with steel chairs all the time. I'm just... There's Deckers up here. They probably use these antennas that a Decker used that. Not surprising they need guards. Thanks for the heads up. Use the transmitter I left under the seat. Place one next to the radio antenna, then head to the next tower. How many gadgets you think Kenzie's got all over this city by now? Who cares, as long as she isn't bugging my bedroom. She wouldn't spy on her own people like that. You sure about that? Remind me to have my room checked when we get back. Give me a second to place this thing. against your former partner, Angel de la Muerte. <laughs> People keep talking about a controversy when there isn't any. There can only be one legend. We fought, he lost, I won. If Angel de la Muerte was to come out of hiding, would you face him in a rematch? Without his mask, he's nothing. Less than nothing. 
the dirt under my boots gets more respect from me. To consider a rematch would mean admitting he's still worthy of my time. Let's hope he's not out there listening in. But to everyone else, we'll have more with Kilbane in just a moment. So where'd you get these transmitters anyway, Kenzie? It's safer you don't know. What does that even mean? Well, probably means that it's safer if you don't know. Look, they work. That's all that matters. What are we gonna do about that video the press has? Our PR department can take care of that, right? People think we blew up a landmark. I don't think it's that easy. Then what the hell do we pay him for? Covering up the small shit. Since when do we do small shit? I love this. I'll just smooth out the edges. And what of those who have died at the event? Murder brawl isn't for the weak. Jump on a grenade and you have to expect the blast to tear you to meaty blood so Great. They're running. We must have spooked them. All right. Uh, uh, kids, uh, don't play with grenades. Just blow your hands off. When we come back with Kilbane, we'll take a few calls from our listeners. Nice work, Kenzie. Now let's rile him up. What are you gonna do? Okay, patching your cell through. Looks like we have a caller. You're on the air with Kilbane. What's your question? Listen, you fat piece of shit, you... I'm sorry. Do you have a question for me? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna come down there and tear your goddamn throat out. Uh, perhaps this has gone just a bit too far. I'm not sure that's a question either. It sounds more like a threat. No, it's a promise. Okay, we need to... Ooh, someone talked to a washed-up wrestler, and now they think they can cut a promo. Listen, Eddie. No. This looks like the place. Clear him out quick and quiet. Quietly? Well, quiet-ish. Where the hell is Kilbane? Bet that reporter knows. Let's ask. We gotta get through him first. It's been a while. You look good. Where's Kilbane? He mentioned heading north. You're, you're not after me about the interview, are you? Back to the chopper. We're going after Kilbane. Let's put a bullet in that son of a bitch. I'll be more than happy to end you. Oh. Let's try, but you'll fail. <laughs> I'll get you above him. Just keep it steady so I get a shot. Make it count. Gotcha. Damn it! What did you do? What did I do? I don't... 
fucking know! Learn to fucking fly! It's not your fault. Something weird happened. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> 